much do fitted clubs matter? Let's find out now on JB Golf. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a little video challenge. We're going to put the bomb techs up against the fitted pings. So, this is not necessarily an apples to apples comparison. The set makeup is not the same. I do got my driver. Three wood hybrid and four through pitching wedge, four through gap wedge actually, uh, on the pin clubs and the bomb techs. I don't got a driver, I don't got a fairway wood, I don't got a hybrid. It's just one iron through pitching wedge. Uh, I'm gonna use bomb tech wedges on both, and I've got my bomb tech putter and my Seymour putter that I'll use. So, who will come out on top? One way to, fi one way to find out. Uh, for link's sake, I'm not gonna record all nine holes. I think what I'll do is I'll record the first hole, then maybe the fourth or fifth, and then get the ninth. Just kind of update you guys where it's at. But let's see who do you think is gonna win. Is it gonna be the fitted clubs, or is it gonna be the bomb techs? Let's get to it. All right, so the bomb tech par putt hits the hole and bounces out. So bogey for bomb tech, bogey for ping. Let's do one hole. Catch you guys up here on the fourth or fifth hole and we'll see who's leading. All right, so I'm really not playing that well today, but that is a double, the ping and a bogey for the bomb tech. So through five holes, playing match play, this thing is all square. If you're playing stroke play, the ping remains up one shot. Um, I think the difference is par five, I put myself in a bunker off the tee with the bomb tech. Had a layup, cost me a couple of strokes there. And then the difference, that part right there, so where I'm probably still the difference is just the, the driver, um, a little more distance. And the putter, the Seymour is slightly better than bomb tech. Uh, my putting has got a little bit better, but I'm actually playing the bomb tech irons better than the ping irons. So you guys get in the comments below, tell me, does getting fit in for clubs matter? And does it only matter on certain types of clubs, like maybe driver, putter, and irons, not so much. Let's keep going. We'll check back on ninth hole, see where we're at, come to conclusion. 
how much two fitted clubs matter for someone like me. We are here at the ninth hole. Won't say where we stand right now, but I will say I'm rather shocked by where we're standing uh, and what's transpired of these eight holes. So get down in the comments below. Let me know what would shock you, what would be a surprise, if any. Maybe there's no nothing that would surprise you based on this little test, but um, let's play this ninth hole. We're all said and done. We'll give you the final results. as we drive here to the second shot on ninth hole. Um, obviously off the tee, driver, much more distance. If you guys watched that recent driver versus driving iron video, if you haven't, go check that out. Um, but what we learned there has just been further clarified that, uh, you know, the ping driver, I'm getting some distance, but we'll give you guys a little hint. Not the driver itself, but on a par three, I had a three wood and hit it will be, so. Um, it's interesting, I haven't hit the driver great. I haven't necessarily hit the driver and iron great, but uh, definitely 20, 25 yards extra distance from that driver. So again, do you think it's gonna make a difference in who wins this matchup? Let's hit these shots, get the green, and then we'll hand out the final results and my observations. I just did that eight iron, but it actually this is on the green. We got a birdie putt coming up with the Bontex. Oh no. Follow up a thin shot with a rather fat shot. Um, you know, saying thin it to win it, a thin shot definitely in a better spot than the one I just chunked. All right, so we end with a pair of pars, able to get up and down uh, with the fitted clubs, the ping wedge, gap wedge, about six feet, able to make it with a Seymour, and able to two putt uh, from probably 25, 30 feet with the bomb tape putter. That first putt was really good, great speed control. So let's go have some numbers, some calculations. Let's see where we stand after nine holes. Bomb tech versus fitted ping clubs comes out on top let's find out all right so we've crunched the numbers so first just let me give some observations um definitely obviously like i said driver distance awesome however i would am actually leaning to putting that bomb tech one iron in my bag for rather tight holes and just taking out uh my three wood my three hybrid i'm just i'm just struggling to hit them um putter wise i was a little bit surprised I actually had a little bit better speed control with my bomb tech. Um, made a long birdie putt on a par three to save par. And then you saw that last uh, 25 footer right there a couple inches to make that. So um, as the round went on, I actually probably putted a little bit better with the bomb tech. And then iron wise would lean towards the bomb tech again. So at the end of the day, stroke play, the bomb tech clubs actually win by two strokes. And then as far as match plays goes, again, the bomb tech finished two up. What does that say? Again, do fitted clubs matter? If you're a professional, you need to get fit. You need to be out there. If you're a really good player, it's going to help you. Someone mid high handicap like me, it can help you some, but other than the driver, I don't know that I'm seeing a whole lot of difference. That's the one club I'm hitting better. I'm hitting it further than I ever have. I don't always hit it perfect, but when I do and catch it good, it really works for me. So thinking of making a little bit of a change in my makeup of my bag possibly come out here as we try to uh, continue to try to shoot par in the white. So next video, you may see kind of a mix and match of a bag. 
putter's the one club I had not decided on. That's Seymour, I love to line it up, but man, that speed control of that bomb tech really felt good. And as I showed you guys in a previous video, I mean, having a cool custom JP Goff grip, not gonna get wrong. So hope you guys have liked the video. If you have, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and you liked the channel. Get down in the comments below. Are you shocked by this? Have you been fit? Did you find that later on clubs just didn't make a big difference or did they? Let me know. And again, keep it locked until next time on JP Goff. Mm -hmm.